Hey guys, it's iPhone Elite 8, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your boot logo, which is the Apple sign that comes up when you first turn your iPhone or iPod Touch on. How to change it to any custom picture. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go into your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, I'm on firmware 2.2. But I know this works on 2.1 because I did it on 2.1. So the first thing you need to do is go into Cydia. Let Cydia load. Everybody knows Cydia takes a while to load, so. Just hold on one second. Alright. I'm going to click cancel just to make this go a lot faster. Alright. Now you're going to want to go down to search right there on the bottom. So go to search. Alright. Okay, once in search, type logo l o g o me m e one word and you're going to see logo me go there and install logo me all right so install and I'm going to come back once I install. Alright, so once that's done downloading, I want you to go to your home page, scroll over, and Logo Me should be there. So I want you to open up Logo Me, and it's going to say Downloading Necessary Files. Let that download. If it doesn't automatically start downloading when you um, open Logo Me, exit Logo Me and reboot it because sometimes when you first open it, it doesn't download so just close it and reboot it if that happens so now that you got that open let that download and come to your computer over here now I got it open already but I'm gonna show you what to type I want you to go to Google and type iSpazio boot logos I S P A Z I O the uh, the link to this is just going to be in the description, so I'd recommend just clicking that link. All right, now once you get to this page, um, uh, find a logo that you like. He has a lot of logos, three pages. Um, find one that is not a full page. Like, see that for example is a full page, full page, because um, you could run into an error saying. Um, it's too large and it may not work properly and most likely it won't so choose one that's just small um, so I guess I'm just gonna choose let's say I choose uh, this one right here this looks pretty cool I'll choose that it's got that fire pretty good alright so now you're gonna wanna right click go to properties See, there it is right there. And it gives you the address, the URL. I want you to write that exactly that, where I'm about to tell you. If it's got capitals, put the capitals. If it's got dashes, put the dashes. Um, so you're going to want to write that here. Go to Select Logo and type that into here. And I'm going to come back once i got that typed in. All right, I've actually changed my mind here. Um, I'm going to be downloading that instead. I think that looks a lot cooler. Alright, so I got that all typed in. I'm going to click download. You got to let this download. Go to install logo. Pre I'm going to preview it, so that's what it's going to look like, obviously. Um, so click install. Flashing new firmware. Okay, it's loading.
Alright, so that's been installed. Now you're going to want to shut off your iPhone or iPod Touch. Alright, so shut it off now, turn it back on, and hopefully that boot logo is there. So there it is, um, and that's how you get new boot logos on iPod Touch or iPhone firmware 2.2. Thanks for checking out the video, and comment, rate, and subscribe.